Good afternoon guys and welcome to the first ever squad builder on our channel and this squad is going to be on the Chilean national team. Of course we are going to be missing a couple of players seeing as the Brazilian league is not on FIFA there will be no Arangis or no Mena but uh, there are still a few very good players in this team and of course a couple of very very well known players. As this is sort of going to be a pilot squad builder do leave your thoughts down below of course I have done these before on my old channel but I want to know what you think we should be doing what graphics I should be including, stuff like that. I'm all ears. Let me know down in the comments and let's get cracking with the squad. Right then, we are rocking the second variant of the 4-2-3-1 formation in goal. We've got Claudio Bravo at right back, Gonzalo Fierro at right centre back, the inform Marcos Gonzalez at left centre back, Enzo Rocco and at left back, former Wigan man Jean Beausajour. And the defence as a whole, to be fair, was pretty good. Of course, Chilean defence is notoriously small I don't think they had a single player in their defense over five foot ten in the World Cup but uh, I did choose two tall center backs on purpose both Rocco and Gonzalez are six foot two of course I did have to sacrifice pace in Gonzalez's part he is only 54 pace but Rocco at 64 you know more than made up for that and uh, Rocco was absolutely superb by the way if you are making a silver La Liga team I do suggest you use him he was brilliant Two fullbacks, pretty good all round, but nothing special. Both could be done for pace as they both do only have 79 pace, which of course is quite a bit slower than the wingers some people do use nowadays. But uh, Claudio Bravo, by the way, was awesome whenever called upon. I found the defence was pretty solid and didn't leak too many goals, but whenever Bravo was called upon, he was awesome. And uh, his distribution as well, of course, is kicking at 85 is outstanding. Moving on to the midfield now and uh, on paper this team's midfield was stacked with talent but in game it didn't really seem to play like that. Uh, the two defensive mids I chose were Vidal and Medel. The wide mids Alexis Sanchez and Mark Gonzalez, the silver from Universidad Católica and the cam was the five star skiller Matias Fernandez. And kicking things off at right defensive mid with Gani Medel into Milan's new signing and this guy was the warrior at the heart of this team. Such a good player, won so many tackles, was absolutely everywhere and was surprisingly good going forward as well. Scored a couple of really, really nice goals for me. Two goals and three assists in ten games. Very, very impressive for someone who I would consider to be a holding midfielder. The same could not be said, however, for Arturo Vidal, who I thought was absolute shit. He was anonymous in every single game that I played. Zero goals and one assist in ten games for a box-to-box -box player is really, really bad. I know he might be better as a centre mid and was perhaps wasted as a defensive mid, but in this formation, like I said... He was anonymous, I would not use him in this position again and uh, a real shame really because I was expecting quite a bit from him and uh, the same can be said about this man to be fair, Alexis Sanchez, he wasn't quite as bad as Vidal but I thought was very very weak, like ridiculously weak and uh, as soon as a player was on him, which was quite often when he was out wide, he was off the ball in a flash, you know, he couldn't hold on to it to save his life. When in space though, he was brilliant, he was inspired, could... um. Pick out some fantastic passes, you know, test the keeper with some long range shots. But uh, out wide, I thought he was very, very poor indeed. The left mid, Mark Gonzalez, was the second best player in this team for me. He was very, very good for a silver. His left foot surprised me. It is ridiculously powerful, like perhaps the most powerful shot I've used this year. He scored a couple of very, very nice goals for me. One where he literally cut onto his left foot and arrowed it past the keeper. The keeper had no chance. It was past him before he had the chance to dive. Was the favourite goal I scored with his team. And uh, for a silver, he was very, very surprising indeed. And I would most certainly recommend him. And the cam, Matias Fernandez, of course, fantastically fun to use in terms of his skill moves, his five-star skills, his dribbling and his agility. But his end product was nowhere to be seen. Zero goals and one assist for a cam in 10 games is absolutely unacceptable. Not sure if it was my fault or his, I don't know. But I just found, you know, zero end product whatsoever. I found he couldn't score goals. His shooting was shit. And, uh, yeah, would not recommend, to be fair. And moving on to the final player in the team, which is, of course, the lone striker. And I understand why this guy is getting so much love in FIFA right now. Eduardo Vargas. 
and what a god this guy is. He is kind of similar to Aguero to be fair and is a monster at rounding keepers. Never played with a player like him. You can round keepers over and over again and just tap it in. He seems very, very quick. His shooting is fantastic, very powerful, can also score on either foot and his dribbling is divine. He plays like Aguero as well in terms of his dribbling, how low to the ground he seems to be. Also not too bad in the air either at five foot nine. And, uh, you know, 10 goals in 10 games for a guy who was sort of feeding off scraps, given how poor the creativity did seem to be in this team, I thought was very, very impressive. You also might have realised that uh, Sanchez's clips are in with these, and that is because I did change formation in game sometimes. I went to 4 one 2 one 2 The second variant played Sanchez up top with Vargas. It did find him a bit more space, but not a lot more. He found, or he tended to drop deeper a little bit and uh, pick up you know, the ball there, which uh, I thought, you know, I want him on the last man's shoulder. So I'm a bit annoyed by that, but I guess it is what it is. But, uh, you know, I, I kind of enjoyed this team overall. was a bit disappointing, could have been better. But, uh, yeah, I still did sort of enjoy it overall. But, uh, yes, guys, that is the end of the video. Do be sure to leave a like on it if you enjoyed. Let me know of any improvements down below in the comments. And I will see you all Saturday for something or another. Not really sure. Goodbye.